What's going on guys, Clint here. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the correct way to import and link fonts into your Next.js application without getting any errors from Next.js. So let's jump in here real quick. So what you'll see here, I already created the basic create next app here. And what I wanna do first is go over to Google. Let's go to fonts.google.com. And this is gonna be how we're gonna import or link a font in Next.js. So I already have my font here, it's called Railway. So what I want to do is go ahead and copy that. And all I've done here, like I said, is my next JS application. And you'll notice in the pages in this index, in our index file, you have this head component, right? That next JS offers us. So you may think that you can just go ahead and just paste everything in here and that everything will work fine. And it will work. However, you're gonna get some, you're gonna get some errors here. So let's go ahead and add in our font here and our styling here. It's our global here. It's already set to Apple system. Like I said, we're using a railway that we just imported and you see the font works fine. But if you, if you inspect this, you're going to notice that you're getting an error from Next.js, and this could cause some problems whenever you go to, to build your app application and deploy it to the web. So we go ahead and click this. What it's saying is essentially is this head component in Next.js that it offers it's good for changing small metadata as well as the page title that you would see here at the top, but it does not want you to link style sheets or anything that's else that you would use site wide. So what we have to do actually, what it tells us here is to go into our pages folder and create a new page with an underscore document dot JS. Okay. And what it says is actually we're going to copy this over completely, right? And paste it in here. And this is where we're gonna paste all of our link files. So let's go ahead and grab the link files that we, we picked up from Google here. And if we go back in here, we're just gonna paste that over inside of our head component inside of our next document that we just created. Now it's important to note that the head component inside of this document.js file is not the same as the head component from, from uh, next.js that it offers in all the other files. So now you see we don't have anything in the in the index head and then in and the document.js head is where we have our imported styles. You now see we refresh, we have our railway font, and however, we are avoiding any errors. So if you're interested in some other Next.js projects, I just put out a um, photography website as well as a portfolio website in Next.js. So click somewhere here and to check out any of those videos, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one.